Hi everyone, it's Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils. I thought I would show you a little demonstration of um, using the pine weight. It's one of our newest stencils and I just love it because with our stencil medium or any medium really, you can get a relief finish. Um, so starting off with um, the cardstock so I've got it's more of an off-white cardstock and it is 15 by 15 centimeters so magnetic sheet as always it's always a magnetic sheet and then excuse my stencil it's a bit mucky uh, we're gonna load it up as you can tell I've not cleaned it very well since I last used it and we're going in with some stencil tape so it never ever changes so we're going to use the stencil medium we're going to screen print with it now anybody that's used our medium knows that it's got a glue content inside if you can't get hold of our medium it's a case of having a little play and seeing what you can um, achieve with other people's mediums so screening all the way around I'm going to go in with a glossy white. I do have one that's already prepped, but it's um, prepped with a translucent medium. So it's um, got a, a an almost, well, it's a transparent finish to it. But any of our mediums will do this. It's just I need this um, beautiful white relief. So going in with our spreader and that's an angle and straight on, straight up. This goes back in. You've not hurt it. So you're screen printing, but you're screen printing with a medium. So once on and again, once off, then either wipe that with um, a wet cloth or a um, baby wipe or whatever you've got to hand. It's a water-based product, so it'll come off fine. Nothing non-toxic in there. So off we come. And now this is where the waiting time. You need to pop it to one side, leave it dry. Um, and it's got to be a bone dry finish. So up we go, up off, and that's beautiful as it is. So if um, you're using our mediums then, and you wanted to adhere anything, this is where you, you do it now. You would sprinkle anything ultra fine on, but we're not gonna go with that finish. So pop that to one side. And what I've done is I've done the same with, it's one of our little word stencils, um, season's greetings. It's one of my favourite sayings for Christmas. So, waiting time over and done with. So, I've already got one finished. Nice and quick and simple. So, I've got lots of my layers already cut. So, as you can see, I've got my two already done. So, with this one, I've used the Dina uh, Wakely Gloss Sprays. Okay, and I've just spritzed these over. What they do give you is they give you a plastic finish. It's a beautiful product. Um, I don't stock it, but it's in my stash and it is one that I love to play with. What I do find is if I wanted to screen print over the top of this, it's a little bit harder. So if you've sprayed a background, then anti-static and then put your stencil, then screen print on. We're just doing the reverse. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use my oxides. I'm a big fan of oxides, but you can use any sprays. So I've got four, so excuse if my head goes in shot. So I've got old paper, brushed corduroy, uh, fossilised amber and Victoria velvet. So obviously with the oxides, you need to um, give them a good old mix. Now they are one of these products that are a fabulous product, but they do block easily. Um, and if they do block, then just clean them off and give them a good old shake and they'll do it. Uh, they'll spray again for you. So they're a mucky one. Let's get everything out of the way because it coats everything and I'm lethal with it. So I'm going in with the fossilized amber and I'm putting both down. I'm getting a bit of scrap kitchen roll. Unfortunately, my kitchen roll's got hearts all over it. So if I press those down, I'll get um, a fabulous embossed image over the top, which might be worth playing with. So we're just squirting. 
Now, I must say, if you're using the um, gloss sprays, the acrylic gloss sprays, you must clean them. Um, that is so important. If you don't clean them, you'll block them. And I do clean these, but I'll clean these at the end um, once the camera's off. So you could quickly with a hoover, um, with a hoover, with a um, heat gun over to dry between the layers. But I want more of a blended over. So as you can see, I quite quite like that. I'm gonna go in with the pink in the centre again. So what I'm going to do is, before I do anything else, I'm just going to start dabbing off. What I found is when I put a wet medium over the top of, over the top of our stencil medium, it seems to activate the, um, the glue in it. Uh, we'll give it a go and we'll see if we can get it to work. Again, it's one of these things, just give it a good old play, have a play with it. You're not hurting it, you're just... Um, building up and your experience and playing and getting techniques and things so this is our brush corduroy and it's more of a beautiful soft brown lovely so again i'm going in and i'm just dabbing and i'm hoping and it's still in shot let me just check the camera yes it is lovely so, quite happy with the finish I've got on that. I quite like that. So, I'm going to quickly waft and dry my inks and get these out of the way so I don't knock them over in my tins. Going in with a baby wipe and what I'm doing is I'm taking away if I can some of the ink from and they do react very different to the um, the acrylics but I just want this lovely oh, I've been in as you can see it's Beautiful. I'm just building bit by bit. Now, because I've used the transparent, it is taking the colour of the um, inks. If I use the white, I will get more of a, a white finish. But I'm going to go over, if I can, with some foils, if I can get it to work. we're building and taking and I can feel it's getting a little bit sticky right so let's go in with some of the brown so this is walnut brown oil and I've got the old gold one. These are my sample ones. So as you can see, I'm just rubbing and it's coming off and again. And what you've done is you've reactivated the glue inside the medium. And I think that looks much nicer than that yellowy finish. And then once it's dry, it's going to, it's not going to shift. So pop that one to one side. And then we're going to go, so we'll just, I just want sections of it. So I'm not pressing too hard. And it's only sticking where the glue is. As you can see, I'm just really gentle going over. And this is not dry quite yet. So once I've 
dried it or once I've finished I'll go over with a heat gun again or you could just leave it air dry it's up to you it's not gonna hurt as long as you can see I'm building up bit by bit so I'm going in with a bit of brine and this is our stencil foils so these are our heat stencil foils but you're not using any heat it's great because the glue is activated so it doesn't need heat can you see we're just building so these are little beautiful little pine cones and this is a beautiful stencil this is one of the new ones that was designed for us by our in-house designer emma cronin and um, it's stunning it's so delicate and simple to use so we're just building up bit by bit until we're happy and you're not using much this is just my scraps of foils so i'm not using a lot of the foils i'm gonna go and just touch bits it's quite a you know it's not a glossy shiny finish as such because it's got the inks behind it's very soft and subtle let's move this out the way let's build this up a bit more so we're just going in and you could go over with lots of different colors if you wanted you know your greens we've got the most beautiful shamrock green and emerald green if you're really into your Christmassy so one scrap of Foils, that's all you've used and it's to do with mediums the mediums make the magic work um, but as I said you could use anybody's medium give it a go if it's got a glue content inside it might work for you but it's very much trial and error with with any product that's on the market seeing what you can get and not necessarily what they're made for you know it wasn't meant to do this, but with experimenting, we find that this works for us. So again, I'm just moving and catching whatever it's wet. Because when it's wet, it's a glue. And that for all of our mediums. When they're wet, they've got the glue content inside. So this would work for any. So what you've got to remember is you paste first, you leave it dry. Once it's bone dry, then all you're gonna do is you're going to be um, a quick wet cloth all the way over, and then it's straight on with your foils. I'm just gonna see whether or not I've got any naked spots this one so I'm gonna rub and it's only gonna stick where the foil has not previously stuck so I've got most of the, the gold on there so let's pop that to one side so as you can see I see a little naked part hold on there we go so we're just checking and again and again Hold it down, rub your finger and lift. So you're not using your laminators or anything for this. All you're doing is you're using the glue in its wet form. So let's pop that to one side and let's get the base. So I've already prepped one. So whether or not I would use it, I don't know. I think it might actually work better with a gold or a black, but so hmm, we'll see. We'll use what we've got. So all you would do is a little bit of matting and layering behind it. And then sit your season's greetings over the top. Oops. There you 
go I won't stick it down until it's dry but there you go so a very simple just plain matting and layering very simple little technique and remember all you're doing is using one of the mediums that you can then um, spray over the top wipe away and then using your heat foils just to press into thank you